Cześć przyjaciele, witam na kanale, mam na imię Rob. Welcome to the channel, my name is Rob and we're on part 7 of the Memes of Poland collection. So join me to see if we can find something slightly amusing about Polska. Okay, first one for today. You have three wishes. There are three rules though. One, you can't wish for someone to die. Two, you can't ask for someone to fall in love with you. Three, you can't ask to revive someone. I want to be fluent in Polish. Uh, yeah, there are four rules. <laughs> it's too difficult. It's too difficult. Even a genie cannot make you fluent in Polish if you are not Polish. Yeah, I feel that one at the moment. I do feel that one at the moment. I feel like I'm struggling. I'm trying my best. I need more exposure. It will come, but not fluent. Next one. Pierogi and tamale. Tamale is um, Spanish food, I think, but basically um, a fusion of two countries' favourite dishes, I feel. I think we can pass straight on from this one, though, because it's a bit rubbish. Oh, a dash hound or dachshund or sausage dog. Have a little sniff at a pierogi. Also, you know there's that thing where you can make a Polish flag from everything? You could do it with his uh, his dog bed in the background. Yeah, that... Sorry, just notice that. Okay. Uh, driving license and baptism certificate, please. Uh, obviously, policia is police. What does capilan mean? I'm going to literally... So while are we doing it now? I'm going to... Literally translate it, uh, capellan, chaplain. Okay, here's the chaplain. Why is there a chaplain police? Imagine being confronted with that though. Imagine being pulled over and you've got the normal police. Okay, fair enough. What have I done wrong? And then you get the chaplain police. I, you know, religious police. <laughs> It almost reminds me of the crazy um, Americans, the the Mormons and things, where they have their own secret police. Every Polish house be like, nah, yeah. Uh, basically, I don't think this is a Polish thing. I think having the tea towel on the oven door is standard. I like our, all right, we haven't got a tea towel, but we do have our oven mitts. They are on the oven. So I think this is a standard thing, not just Poland related. Okay, next. Tankies be like, I, should, I think that means Yanks, Americans or United Statesians, uh, but it, we would call them Yanks. Yanks be like, Russia did nothing wrong and Poles hate it only because of a US propaganda. My brother in Christ, we hated Russia before USA even became a thing. <laughs> That's so true. Honestly, the history of Poland and Russia um, is basically littered with hatred um, and dislike for each other and going to war. And and if you think, the United States as a country isn't even that old. So, yeah, yeah, their hatred sort of goes way before the Yanks started being there. So, yeah, fair play to, to the Poles. Okay, why aren't castles built nowadays? That's a good question. Why? Are they? Because it's uneconomical and unnecessary to anyone. Meanwhile, in Poland, boom. Um, I don't know where that is. I don't know. I assume that's. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it looks awesome. It looks awesome, and it would be great for defence. But is it needed? Surely that is just a castle that's being revamped and and mended. Surely. Um. Okay, actually, looking in some of the comments, I can see some comments. Apparently, it was built illegally, but now it's just been sort of left. Um, so, yeah, it shouldn't actually be around, but the government or whatever are just saying, yeah, screw it, whatever. Polish language is so dangerous. Beware. My teacher taught me that Christmas baubles are called bombki. They are. Uh, set to impress my set to impress my colleagues. I told her that I like to collect bobki. Totally forgetting the M. Bobki is basically small animal shit. 
<laughs> this sums up Poland. Honestly, there are so many words that basically have multiple meaning, meanings or have similar sounds or literally one letter is taken out and it complete, means something completely different and quite often something a little bit dirty. Honestly, Polish is littered with it. It is littered with it. It is mad. But that was a good one. Bomki, Bobki. Bobki, Bomki. That's easy to get wrong. That's easy to get wrong. Wow. Yeah, be careful, guys. Be careful. Okay. Babcha's house on Christmas Day. Loads and loads of food, as expected. Babcha's house after, well, the other 364 days of the year. Exactly the same. <laughs> It, it, uh, that makes sense because grandparents in Poland just seem to want to feed you. And I can't, and I don't know this personally, but people constantly are telling me you cannot refuse Polish grandparents Babcha's food. You can't do it. And so they're constantly going to think you need to eat. Um, I, I don't know if I could cope. That's too much. That is too much. Some of it does look quite delicious, but it's too much. Most commonly spoken languages other than English or Spanish in the United States. Okay. Uh, in 2014, whereas Poland is there, right in the, right there in between Germany. Okay. I think that's the only place that has Poland. Let's see. Uh, looking now at 2020, it is literally the same. I, I Okay. Illinois. Illinois. Poland is the third slash maybe second most commonly spoken language. OK, I don't really see the point of this, but OK, next. I can't believe he didn't cry during Titanic. Do men even have feelings? Oh, Lewandowski in tears. Uh, celebration, clearly. You did it, Levy. Yeah. And a man crying. Um this is a funny thing. Like, Charlie, my wife, she moans at me because I didn't cry at our wedding. But it wasn't sad. It wasn't, like, it wasn't a crying moment. I'm not emotional like that. But when my poor boy Joey the cat died, oh, my God, I was in tears. And she actually thought it was a good idea to say, well, you didn't cry at the wedding. Bloody women. Women. Poland versus Mexico in the football I don't. I wonder how long ago this this was this picture because it's quite amusing because obviously Poland's there, communist times, black and white. Uh, Mexico is kind of very yellowy, which some it sums up. It sums up Poland and Mexico probably a few years ago, and I say a few, I mean a few, few, not just a few years ago. <laughs> um, that's quite a good one. Yeah, black and white versus just saturated okay 303 polish fighter squadron no number 303 entered the battle of, on 31st of august at the peak of the battle of britain but quickly became fighter command's highest claiming squadron with 126 kills you goddamn poles you can't be better than the whole air royal air force how hard could it be <laughs> um, this is a this is i think a slight miscommunication in the sense that actually the higher ups in in the royal air force knew how important the poles were so yeah it's not i think yeah i think there's slight mistruths and stuff but i think yeah even the higher ups in the royal no at uh, royal royal air force knew how important the poles were during the the battle of britain so yeah i think it may be just a little bit more forgotten Okay, pole dancing, poles dancing. I still prefer actual pole dancing with half-naked ladies, but that's all I'm going to say. <coughs> oh, my God. Uh, honestly, it's not even, It's summer's still rubbish, and I'm still, my nose going crazy. Okay, pole dancing. Yeah, I prefer, yes, said naked lady pole dancing. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay, Poland. Oh, hang on. I just wish I could do what I want without getting attacked every week, whoever Brittany Matthew is. Poland in 1939. <laughs> Poland always. In the comments, says Poland always. Yeah, just get on with our own thing. 
yeah, we're going to attack you. <laughs> okay, second most common language per London borough. Okay, we're localised to London now. Polish, 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 Polish. There's quite a lot of Poles. Um, there are. Uh, nice. There aren't as many Polish restaurants in, in... If you think of it, though, a lot of Poles are now in the UK, but there aren't many Polish restaurants. There are lots of Polish shops, like corner shop type, small shops. But there aren't many restaurants that do pierogi and, and guomki and all that and zurek and all that. There aren't. But if you look in London, that is a lot where the second language is Polish. That's incredible. Yeah, incredible. I just don't know where those restaurants are. Okay, when the 90s arrive and the Republic of Poland stand once again, while both Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union have faded into history... It smells like bitch in here. <laughs> That's good. Uh, the Poles get their own back. They get their own back. That's good. I like that one. That is good. Okay, we'll do a few more. Whole World, Alan Turing and Hut 8 credited for cracking Enigma. And there's a little cat in the corner. Polish resistance and Polish mathematicians. Polish resistance who risk their life to get one Enigma machine so allied forces can crack the code. The funny thing is, um, we've just had the 80th year uh, anniversary of D-Day. And on Radio 2, the BBC Radio 2, they were talking about it all week. And they did talk about Alan Turing and the Enigma code and all this. Not once did they mention about Poland. Not once. Even when they had an expert on, not once did they talk about the Polish actually getting the machine and, and doing a lot of work before Alan Turing and his team? I was disappointed because obviously now I know the history. I was expecting it, but it didn't come. So that was quite disappointing. Okay, a couple more. Poland exists. Germany. And I took that personally. What? I don't get it. I don't get that one. Okay, I don't get that one. Regular people. Yep. You're thinking, if you're playing... Uh, why? Scrabble. You're looking at that thinking, what the hell can I make with that? How could anyone make a word out of these lousy letters? I understand. Uh, Polish people. do. there are like four valid words at least. Shit. Uh, that is so true. There are so many sh, ch, z. There, there's just so many um words like that. That could that probably is a word. Is that a word? Hang on, I'm gonna check. That might not be a word, but I'm gonna check. Uh, sh, it. It is a word. It's summits. Summits in English. Wow. There you go. There are so many words. All right, last one. Last one, and we are calling part seven a day. The world is a cruel and unjust place. There is no harmony in the universe. The only consist the only constant is suffering. Minutes later. Wow, look, it's Wing to SARS. Okay. Uh someone's gotta explain that one to me. And I don't really want to leave on a weird I don't understand it. So let's do one more. Uh <laughs> good heavens, just look at the time. Fight for freedom. Fight for free. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Basically, all the time, it's fight for freedom. Fight for freedom. We don't beg for freedom. We fight for freedom. Uh, there you go. There is part seven of Polish memes. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there's a couple that I need a little bit of you guys to explain a little bit for me because I, it's gone over my head. So help me out. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, then please do the basic. It's free. Like this video and subscribe for more. And go to Charlie and Rob on YouTube and check out our vlogs. We've got loads from Poland, uh, Australia, Italy, Portugal, Ireland. We've got from all over. So check them out. And I will catch you next time. Dovigenia.